volcanic hazards are a significant part of the New Zealand landscape and as a consequence of that we have a quite a sophisticated volcano monitoring program and we have many methods as volcanologists of sharing the information from that program with the public responding agencies and the media. This table is the volcanic alert level system for New Zealand. We use it to communicate the level of activity at each of our volcanoes to everybody who needs to know. It ranges from zero or no volcanic unrest right through to five or major volcanic eruption. There are two levels of unrest, minor volcanic unrest and moderate to heightened volcanic unrest. And then there are three levels for eruptions, which are basically small, medium and large. On this side we've got the most likely hazards that are associated with each of the volcanic activity levels. These range from volcanic environment hazards right through to eruption hazards that might impact the area on the volcano as well as beyond the volcano. So let's look at some examples of volcanoes showing activity at each of these levels. A volcano at alert level zero is a volcano where nothing is happening and we just have the typical environmental hazards and there's no volcanic hazards at that volcano. A volcano at alert level one is experiencing minor unrest and there may be some volcano unrest hazards like the geothermal systems or volcanic gases or earthquakes. A volcano at alert level 2 is experiencing moderate volcanic unrest. There will be some activity occurring on the volcano, it will be contained within the crater and there will be volcanic unrest hazards and a potential for an eruption. Volcanic alert level 3 is a minor volcanic eruption the eruption will be affecting just the area around the active volcanic vent, i.e. the summit of the volcano and near the vent. Volcanic alert level 4 is a moderate volcanic eruption and this is where the hazards extend way beyond the active crater onto the flanks of the volcano and maybe even more distant. There may be lahars or lava flows or debris flows on the flank of the cone, there may be ballistic blocks being thrown from the crater. Volcanic alert level 5 is a major volcanic eruption where we have significant hazards on the volcano and could be affecting communities you know, way away from the volcano. At volcanic alert levels 3, 4 and 5 the volcano will be producing volcanic ash. However the volcanic alert level system is really focused on what is happening at the volcano not so much the distal effects that ashfall could be causing. So when the level of activity changes at an active volcano we consider the GeoNet monitoring data, interpret it and using our experience and knowledge and as a group we then decide what the appropriate volcanic alert level should be and notify people of the new level. How do people find out about the changes in volcanic alert level? We'll put out a volcanic alert bulletin and that will also be pushed out through social media, Facebook, Twitter and also into the mainstream media and you can also go to the web pages to find out more information about the status of the volcano.